Today marks three years since a gunman opened fire on a concert in Las Vegas, killing 60 people. Our ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pazzetti shows us how survivors are continuing to find closure years later. It happened quickly. Over time, you change as a person, but it's different when you change in like split seconds. But for survivors of the Route 91 concert in Las Vegas, these moments will stay with them forever. Just seeing orange. Uh, I couldn't see anything. And my friend said, Charles, your face. Chelsea Romo, a mom of two, was shot in the eye. Tiffany Weezer. So I've had like plastic surgery, so the scars don't look as like what they were. Her elbow, so hand, and stomach. She was just 18 at the time. It definitely made me grow up super fast because I was now dealing with things that not normal 18 year olds were dealing with. So when my friends would say like, hey, let's go to movies tonight, let's go bowling. It was like, I automatically knew I couldn't do that. Three years later and the fight has not stopped. After seven surgeries and a prosthetic eye, Chelsea can finally start to process. I was going through so many surgeries and having so much at the time of the first and second that it kind of kept my mind so busy and so focused on that. And I tried so hard like not to feel. Um, but this year I feel, I feel it, I feel it a lot more. Tiffany says the news one day before the anniversary has been a step toward closure. An $800 million settlement to be paid to the victims has been reached. It feels different because there's like a little bit of weight lifted off my shoulder because everything's like been finalized. And while there's still a road toward healing for both, October 1st will always be a day of remembrance. This is the time we come together and we remember and we love on each other and we just think about the people that are not here now. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. The previous total of lives lost that day was 58, but since then, two more people have died because of their injuries from the shooting. So today, Nevada's governor included those two in the total, meaning 60 people were killed in the Las Vegas shooting.